สวัสดีครับ Hello everyone my name is Maggie and this is another episode of Lancer Fix in this episode I got you an alarm system from Crown Stopper SP502 I'm gonna install it on a 2002 Mitsubishi Lancer LS a lot of you guys want me to use special tools and you guys also want me to use the clips or the wire connectors so I will be using a lot of them let's go see it I bought the electric trunk release kit separately. And I bought these two relays separately. Let's take a look at the wires. Ground, parking light output, 12 volts for the parking lights. And we're gonna use this diagram. Siren, horn, dome light, OEM rearm, OEM disarm, tachometer. Trunk release, passenger door unlock, anti-grind. You can cut these wires that you don't use off, but I like to keep them. Hold pin, trunk pin, door pin, positive door pin, handbrake for manual transmission, brake reset, diesel glow plug. Option 17, negative starter. Option 27 and 28. Option 29 and 30. Unlock, terminal 86, lock. Starter, accessory, 12 volts, 12 volts. Ignition one, programmable. Here are my special tools for this video. These are the T-tap connectors. These are the quick splice connectors. Install the siren. Install the whole pin switch. Install the antenna.
start the button and the LED. Install the shock sensor. Install the electric trunk release kit. This car has trunk trigger at the light in trunk, so we're gonna wire it to the front. Installing the button for the electric trunk release kit. Let's take a quick look at the car's wiring diagram. This one is for the 2002 Lancer. Lancer 2003 to 2007 have blue red horn wire and Lancer Evolution 8 and 9 have red horn wire. And that's about it. Connect siren, tachometer, and hood pin. Connect chassis ground. Connect parking light output. Connect 
connect 12 volts for the parking lights, 12 volts for the trunk release kit, and these two 12 volts from the six pin connector. connect the horn wire because this car has yellow horn wire it could be very similar to airbag wire so I have to make sure that it is a horn wire the horn wire should send out negative signal when I press the horn and yes this yellow wire is the horn wire connect the dome light illumination black white goes to terminal 85 86 to 12 volts, 87 to chassis ground, and 30 to door trigger. Connect the trunk release wire. Green rate goes to terminal 85, 86, 87 to 12 volts, 30 to electric trunk release kit, and the wire from the trunk release button to 12 volts. Connect anti-grind. Orange goes to the yellow wire from the relay. Connect the white wire and this pink wire from the 6-pin connector to the ignition 1 wire. Cut the starter wire, connect the bottom green wire and this brow wire from the 6-pin connector to the starter side of the starter wire. Connect the top green wire to the key side of the starter wire. Connect the accessory wire. Connect the trunk pin. Connect the door pin.
connect break reset connect unlock wire and lock wire and we have connected all these wires connect the button and the LED connect the shock sensor connect the antenna and let's make everything look nice Let's do attack programming. This is the instruction. Start the car. Press the button five times. Press the button again one more time. Press the lock button. Turn the key to off. And it's done. We're gonna program option number 14. Lock with remote start, turn it to off, and here is the instruction. Turn the key to on position. Press the button five times. Press the button again 14 times. Press the lock button. Turn the key to off, and it's done. Here are the rest of the options. And there you have it guys, I hope you enjoy it and find this helpful. Thank you and have a nice day. So, decode.